This is Mystery of the Druids, played for us by Long Lord Cuddy. Not, not longplays.org. Just FYI. Did the Druids live in pyramids? Oh, well, no, because they got, they got blown up, so. <laughs> oh. It did look kind of like that for a second, though. Does anybody know anything about this game? I don't. What did Nothing. it come out on? Me neither. The CDV. Oh. Apparently. What is that? The Mystery of the Druids, subtitle, A House of Tales. What kind of terrible name for a company is that? <laughs> it is. I'll see your logo is just a man staring off into the distance. <laughs> Isn't this that Friday the 13th game that just came out? I like how this is like very obviously a fake camera because it's like just barely clipping through branches <laughs> the way a real camera could never move. But wait, huh? Why did the druids become rocks? Find out on The Mystery of the Druids on PBS. <laughs> what an exciting start <laughs> to the thing. It just sucks you in. I'm really riveted. Love when they rev it up to 10 right from the get go. <laughs> I mean, will there be more rocks? I really need to know. <laughs> <laughs> they ran, it's like they ran out of credits, too. Oh, here we are. Are these the uh, titular druids? I don't know. They look like kind of KKK people. Well, the druids were known to be a little racist. <laughs> a little. It's a gathering of a subreddit, really. <laughs> oh, I got the rock seat. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anything. This is what happens when I go to Ticketmaster too late. <laughs> this is the worst concert Get I've ever been to. Get these nosebleed seats. Literally, because my nose is pressed up against a rock. <laughs> At least I can read the ruins. The runes. So, uh, kumbaya and shit? Mm -hmm. This is so typical of a concert. Everybody's on their phones. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag mystery of the druids, guys. Oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh he saw his first dirty diaper. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck what are the these? <laughs> they poop themselves? No! <laughs> This is exactly what babies do. They just kind of lie there and wave their arms. They don't yeah, they're cry. They're very they chill. Don't... They're very chill about this entire situation with all the fire. All right, I need the M, the C, and the A in here. <laughs> Come on, guys. What? Well. All right. Those druids are pretty chill about that, too. The... Wait, did... You missed one. <laughs> That's clearly the evil baby. Then they shuffle up all the babies. All right, pick the evil one. Lockhead, Lowry. How could you let such a thing happen? The man was what? innocent. He's a puppet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the baby all rendered huh? somehow? Get out of my sight. Nah, I'd better not rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> gently press my knuckles against this door. I promise, Lowry. Would you like some boiling water? <laughs> I was gonna say! Oh, and here's my good friend Halligan. Another one of the invaluable detectives of our glorious Are moments. you being sarcastic? <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Would you like to look at my Excel spreadsheet that I've taped to the wall? <laughs> I've got no ashtray here, I just do it on the Rolodex. <laughs> sure, you're a busy man, aren't you? Yes, I'm really ugly. What of it? Now look here, Detective Halligan. I've got used to being surrounded by a bunch of incompetent, half-baked blockheads. But your smart, well-dressed colleague, Lowry. A lot of the suspects are guns. <laughs> <laughs> Keep zooming in. He has eyelashes to die for. He must get extensions. Got a bit of a problem. <laughs> We've had an innocent man locked up in jail. Oops. <laughs> prison before we could correct our mistake and that's not even the worst part of it now we got this lunatic killer running around don't look into the camera don't look into the camera we have to make sure that at least this oversight is put right i wish i knew which millennium it was but the calendar isn't quite exposed Your clear up rate so far ought to be sufficient evidence that there's no point in asking you to clear up anything more than a common bicycle theft 
Then why are you asking me to do this? Squad. I am the chief. His head is just slowly tilting back and forth. Lowry, you. Are we really part of Murder Squad? Uh... <laughs> okay, Chief. What do you want me to do? I'm really upset about the way he looks. What mad assassin are you referring to? Allegan, it's well known that you'd rather read those crazy books of yours during all the hours than to really in the affairs of this department. I'm tired of you and your grocery you know, store romance you know, novels. I don't want to hear about them anymore. For months now, a killer's been running around in London, taking victims apart and leaving nothing but bones for us to find. And I have you three phones to look over. <laughs> you mean the business out at the Silent Inn? That was over a year ago. There were two more murders later, Halligan. <laughs> what kind of horrible cop are we that we don't even read the paper about oh, yes. these murders? The case by the Thames. And the business with the bones found Oh, those bones! Exactly. Okay. Oh. oh. Two of the three crime scenes. That wouldn't usually be sufficient for a summons to the police station. But Lowry and Stryker twisted the thing so badly that the poor man actually lost in court. And now he's dead. He was stabbed in prison. Well, that solves that, I guess. And well, I'm a detective, is that right? Closed, doesn't it? <laughs> you see... That's exactly what I wouldn't say. I got a phone call this morning. Did, did you miss the context of what we were talking about? <laughs> There's been another murder. What? Did you just get here? <laughs> bones has been found in Epping Forest. It's my first day, also. Supposedly a mail call. I can't believe you Miller's not, murder. like, madder about this. We both agree that it can't have been Lowry's man, eh? Oh. Uh, I guess. You see, uh, he's managed to get that into Lowry's head as well. And who's you Lowry? Know? <laughs> Lowry's off the case. And, and now I'm a detective, you, you say? Epping Forest, is that here, or...? And Halligan, no sloppiness now. I want results. Sensible results. And what does a forest look like? already been terrorizing me this morning. The killer must be found. So is a killer someone that hurts people? Murder course. meaning... Good. This is the file with all the necessary information, and now you better get going quickly. Just before I go... What are bones? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get the hell out of here. We have our office in an ice rink. Well, we should mention. <laughs> Hello, Chris. Hi, Halligan. Oh, Poindexter. There's work for you. There's always work for me, Halligan. And right now, I've got enough work not to be disturbed again and again. Have you heard of the new skeleton murder? <laughs> skeleton murder? That's what we're calling it? out to where the body was found, together with the forensic squad. And? What did you find out? Not a lot. The killer did a neat job. It was really no swell. Traces, no witnesses. <laughs> this madman doesn't seem to be so stupid at all. You mean it's just one person doing this? Awfully quirky well, for a murder investigation music. <laughs> but I believe so. Look at it this way. Might there be more than one? Could several people go that mad at the same time? Well, it well, wouldn't be the first time that loads of madmen go crazy at the Why same would it time. have to be at the same, like, simultaneously? Such perseverance. For months. Without being found out. I think that's very unlikely. <laughs> Why don't you be the detective, Chris? <laughs> Is the terrain still secured? Yes, we left an officer there. For the onlookers. I hope they the won't be such a crowd You know how people like to stare at bones <laughs> in the dirt? <laughs> when there's something to be seen. Nothing is seen <laughs> here until later, folks. What do you think? No idea. It's your job to find that out, isn't it? It is? <laughs> I'll just drive out there and have a look at it. Just like I was told to do. <laughs> Everyone hates this idiot. Later on. <laughs> he does seem like he's not really a detective, though, because he's like, so I'll just drive out there? <laughs> like, that's what I'm supposed to do, right? <laughs> Scotland Yard, my... I work here. I think. <laughs> Who the hell uh, is this? Is this oh, Epping no. Forest, by any chance? Oh, no, not you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not your day, is it? All the better for you, Halligan. Of course. Is our face you shrinking? The day in this department must have been a few months ago. <laughs> by the way, congratulations on your new case. I can't believe the chief has put a loser like you on it. Oh, so this is the audience surrogate character. You're right, Barry. <laughs> my last good day was quite some time ago. Oh my god! It was the day you went on holiday. And I didn't have to stand looking at your... Did I mention I have a nice car? Hey, hey Detective Halligan. <laughs> you see this as an opportunity, don't you? You think you're going to make it big in this department, don't you? Become the chief's favorite detective? I'll tell you something, Halligan. You won't get there. You're a Why have we come and talk to this man? <laughs> yeah, right? As well as I do. You'll need to come to terms with that. No, Larry. I believe that the chief's opinion has... That's a terrible comeback. <laughs> I should have heard him at the briefing. 
I'm afraid. <laughs> oh my God. As you say, Hallie. Runs out crying. Optimistic as ever, aren't we? That didn't match. Never mind, Lowry. I need your last results. And I need any available data. Our last results are lying in the graveyard. The man was guilty, we proved it, and he was killed. Our last the results story. say that you're a putz. <laughs> Is that what you told his widow and children? No way. Stryker was the one who dealt with that sort of thing. I'm not into spiritual welfare. You're not into it. Hi, ma'am. Your husband's a murderer understand. and dead. Well, Click. I just don't go for all that sentimental crap. Of course, Lowry. I'm really sorry for you. Hey, same here, Halligan. Oh, uh huh. This is productive. Did you never doubt for a second whether you had the right man or not? Doubt is the virtue of... Could you look at me when you're talking to me, by the way? <laughs> Didn't professional crime fighter Shakespeare write that? <laughs> I'll talk to you later, Larry. Why? Don't talk to him ever yes. again. Never come back here. they hated each other. <laughs> you're the worst detective ever. See you later. <laughs> I talked to everyone. I don't have any clues. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Janet. Hello, Brent. <laughs> Janet, let me just that. casually rest my head on my hand. <laughs> Is she doing warm ups for something? Because you asked me the same thing yesterday. Is she a monster from Silent Hill? No, thank you. What? <laughs> this is the best way to scratch my itch here. Much faster tomorrow. Janet, what's up? <laughs> Certainly not my head. <laughs> no, Halligan, and he doesn't need to either. You talk enough of it yourself. Did you swim and you have water yeah, in your ear? Be good enough to <laughs> carry on with my job, okay? Are you staring I at the understand. ceiling for some reason? Lowry has been talking about me, and you believe every word he said. I believe only what I see, Detective. <laughs> and what I see is the player, awkwardly. Right in front of my desk, who is wasting my time. Good. Okay, bye. Take your time, Brent. Crack. I love that reaction. Like, you're such an asshole. You can be the bar later. <laughs> wow. Is this our office? Oh, this, is yeah. It does look like a loser's office. <laughs> what a slob. Unfortunately, there's no pizza. I wish that there was pizza <laughs> still in here in the trash that I could eat. Normally, I leave pizza in here for days on end. That's a bottle of naturally cloudy apple juice. Okay. Oh my god, why are we playing as such an idiot? There's nothing worse than <laughs> thirst. I'll take it with me. No! That's, you're supposed to refrigerate that! <laughs> just take that. this warm bottle of apple juice. <laughs> Detective Browning left this here once. An ugly thing. What is it? I'll take it's like it a blanket? Me. Maybe I'll give it back to Miss Browning. Today. Maybe she'll be in Epping Forest. My greatest enemy. I'm determined <laughs> to give up smoking. Why do you keep cigarettes with I you? I keep them here as a reminder to quit smoking. <laughs> Sometimes I light them and inhale the fumes just to remind Just to remember that. how awful it feels. <laughs> nope, no darts now. Maybe I'll Everything else, but the darts are useless. My favorite opponent, Inspector Miller. <laughs> Inspector Miller? That piece of shit. My good old leather glove. Oh, I could do a crime with these later, perhaps. Best selling headache pills worldwide. I suppose that's mainly because of me. I've already taken one this morning. Because of you? There's a sock in the drawer, just I one? Detective rule number one. In London, you need two coats. Wear one while the other one is dry. Isn't that right, one spare coat? Anyway, I'm already wearing a coat. That's a lot of backstory when you could have just not had a second Got coat. Save the queen. Even if she's wearing a really ugly green suit. Damn. Oh my god, so we judgy. hate everyone. <laughs> Which one's Why? the queen? Uh, don't remember. <laughs> Take that, boss. Oh. I like the subtle product placement here, too. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it's a quick trip. Good morning, officer. Good morning, Detective. Detective Loser. Uh, I hope you've had a good breakfast. Mm, the sight over there is not very appetizing. It'd be better if you had no breakfast then in that oh, case. Well, yeah. I got used to it. When were the bones discovered? At 5.30 a.m. by a jogger. He phoned us. A jogger? Has he been interviewed? Well, he's in hospital for the time being. The shop, From you know. seeing the bones? Wait, really? Take down his particulars. Why was that? He, well... He had to throw up several times, sir. Oh, I understand. I'm also a wuss, I get it. 
Do I mention this is really gross? Not impossible, <laughs> but I don't really believe it. He's a tourist and only arrived in London last night. I suppose he came here by accident. He's a tourist. Is his accent is tourist, not British as yours? <laughs> is he on a fitness trip? Sir, he told us he was a decathlete. It's his job. Okay, officer, that was it. Thank you. Any I've time, learned sir? enough. The rest of the jogger were done here. Whoa, oh my barf. god, that's disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. This bone is quite long. Seems it's from the victim's leg. I should take the bone with me, but... No, you shouldn't. You don't transport a I could store it with my darts. That might falsify traces. Yeah, so you shouldn't take it with you. Why Maybe you? don't touch the crime scene. Next to the bones is black. I need to have the grass examined. Let's pour the apple juice on it. <laughs> secure evidence. Oh, okay, yeah. We have to pick... take each bone individually, or oh, just Pretty. the one. Huh? All right, that's all I need. Bye. <laughs> 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 Look what I found, guys. <laughs> We sure we're not a grave robber? <laughs> <laughs> He's not a good detective, but he is fast. That's Come look at this bone I found. Goofier running than King's Quest 6. I've just come back from the place where they found the bones in Epping Forest. And? Trail blazing new findings? I've got something here I'd like you to have a look at. I'm over here, Joe. Chris. It's called a here bone. You go, have you heard of have it? Have a look at this. A bone. Very likely the right thigh bone. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a fair question. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Forensic squad this morning. I know, but I've still got a couple of questions about them. Which one well, is this connected to? <laughs> Did somebody maybe scorch the flesh off the bone? No, definitely not. That would be <laughs> no, different. stupid. I suspect that it was rather cut off, or maybe taken off with acid. Wouldn't... Can you see any abnormalities? I would have noticed them, Halligan. No fractures, no bruises, everything quite normal. No what bruises on bones? Thing? Judging by the structure of the bones, I think it was male. I'll write that down in my report as well, but I'll tell you right now that you won't get it before the end of the week, Halligan. Glad to know you got a good work out there, Chris. Jesus. About the bones. Chris, that doesn't help me. There's really no more to say about <laughs> They're the just bones, bones Halligan. <laughs> You'll have it all nicely written down then. Or, hang on a moment, if you're really <laughs> interested, Go and see Professor Turner. He was the supervisor of a friend's PhD thesis. He knows all about these specific bones. He works in the Anthropological <laughs> Museum in Oxford. Get the fuck out of here! Come on! He can. Okay, thanks I can't say anything about them because they're just bones, but maybe you can go travel somewhere else and have someone else tell you that. Gotta say, it's a really clever way to get rid of Halligan. Else for you. Could you have a quick look at that, too? The weed. Also from the place where the bones were. Hey, he also asked my professor about that. And what do you want to know about it? Why is grass green? Have you seen something like this before? Is it hella you mean, dank? Have I seen grass before? Are you trying to pull my leg? Yeah. Just smell it. Mm. <laughs> it smells slightly burnt. The bones were lying on this grass. <laughs> and I made you smell it. You should have seen your face. Not very unusual what an idiot. Parts. That's being mean to me! Forbidden to light fires in it's not unusual to light fires and throw bones on them. Halligan, be realistic. <laughs> it's... Who cares about that? If people want to light a fire, they'll do it. Who cares? <laughs> Fireplace, Chris. The grass was burnt under the bones and just there. Mm. Yeah. Well, then, maybe the bones got hot. Can bones get ah. hot? No! What? You're asking <laughs> a scientist? <laughs> Could the flesh have melted off without any fire? that either. Okay, Chris. See you later on. Could the bones have been in a volcano? <laughs> Bye. Does grass grow naturally, then? <laughs> Could someone have put <laughs> taken a blowtorch in the shape of a skeleton and placed each bone <laughs> individually? Mm. Mm. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Did he run there from Scotland Yard? Yes. Non-stop, exactly like that. <laughs> I love the little slow motion that happens when he's just about to enter something. Locked. Well, oh, guess I have to go home. Closed due to renovation works. Great. And now? Maybe there's one other person in London that knows about bones. <laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> 
Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> you think a vehicle? Perhaps if I become Superman. Hey, a phone box. Hey, a phone what? in this phone box. I wasn't sure until I opened it and I did it from the inside. I'll just use, use my, my Jedi telekinesis here and grab the phone. Mm. Yep. Hmm. Let's see if the phone number of the museum is listed in here. Why didn't you do that before you left? Muse muse museum, okay. Museum of African Studies. It's 2001, right? <laughs> here, Anthropological Museum. And the extension of Professor Turner? It's here. Did we need all this dialogue for this part? Like, why doesn't he just say, oh, here's the professor's number? We're going to show you every single step of this crime investigation. Oh, I don't think we have any money. Now, if I go to the bank, I can perhaps get change. <laughs> Cut to the bank. <laughs> Very slowly hangs up the phone. <laughs> hey, Pigeons, right. do you have any change? This looks like the first puzzle we've got is to find 30 <laughs> pence. Oh god. Hello, homeless person. Can I have some new change? Hello, my friend. Huh? What are you doing here? Are you blind? I'm having a drink. Are you a bone expert? Why do you drink so much? <laughs> because I'm thirsty. Very thirsty. Mm. Okay, I need to go now. <laughs> oh, Bye. Of course I like it. Dum dum. <laughs> it smells pretty strong, if I may say so. Even total strangers take an immediate dislike to Halligan. <laughs> Snaps to aftershave. Most important thing is that it makes you happy. You don't look too happy, though. Can I have a drop? Get your own bottle, <laughs> oh my god! Get me one as well. My bottle's empty. Well, I have apple juice. There's money in your hat there. Isn't that enough for a bottle of gut rot? Ah uh, no, those pennies wouldn't feed a parking meter. Why is the museum being? Closed? Why would he know? And you read that already. Yeah, you already know. He does know. Yeah, you're right. This is the professor of anthropology. He's going to examine the phone. Oh, well, just a poxy 60 pence. You're right. You won't get far on that. But I, on the other hand. Have you seen anybody <laughs> going into the museum? Yeah. Just this morning. A woman. A young, pretty one. A and woman. did she have burns? You haven't seen a man. <laughs> Only a woman. She comes here every day. Now and again, she gives me a few pennies. Oh, That's so dick. It's like, here's three cents. So if Halligan oh. waits here for a few days and does what this guy's doing, he'd get the 30 pence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I must be off now. Well then, okay. Wait, what? Wait, what? He said no, the same that's... thing in the subtitles that he... The beggar's flask. Absolutely. He just took it? <laughs> well, it was empty. But still... Oh, man, don't get this guy booze. But Scotland Yard booze. <laughs> but he's... Just hop into the break room and get some scotch. Or some Coca-Cola. <laughs> Scotland Yard must pay you. You don't have to enable the guy for 30 cents. Look, he's got a phone call to make. <laughs> Can I ask you about alcohol? Let's get on at the museum. What did Professor Turner say? Could he help you? I stole a homeless man's empty Music flask. It's closed. It's being refurbished. Oh. Well, that's bad luck. Why don't you find <laughs> Cuz I broke Chris. <laughs> right okay. My phone doesn't work properly anymore. Why don't you go to a phone booth? Why don't you go in the chief's room? He has three phones. I don't have any change to phone. Well, now you've got a problem. Lost it all gambling again, did you? Hey, that reminds me. Is there anything not wrong about Halligan? <laughs> Halligan. You haven't got it on you by any chance. Um no, Chris. No, Chris, I broke. We just said that. I can't someday. make a phone call. I don't have call. 30 pence for the phone. phone. I'm not so keen on that, Halligan. <laughs> oh I'm God. trying to catch a murderer, Chris. Why don't you ask Lowry? Lowry? You must be joking, Chris. This is no, the most incompetent don't crime don't investigation I've ever seen. Right? Exactly. Sorry, Halligan, but I'm convinced you'll solve this problem. I'm sorry we couldn't catch the murderer, sir, but I literally could not find a phone. <laughs> Oh my god. Could I make a phone oh, out of some no. ethanol no. and propanol? The bottle is full of dust and fingerprints. Too dangerous to carry the bottle around with me. I don't even know well, what it's kind of not. that is. What do you mean you don't know what it is? It says ethanol! <laughs> you must know! <laughs> 20 minutes?! 
What? What's the other? What's Chris doing while he's doing this? Twenty minutes later, he's still looking at it. Now. Oh, he cleaned the bottles? He wiped it clean. Or is he like trying to suck up to Chris? Be like, hey, I dusted your bottles. Can I have 30 cents <laughs> for my work? Something I wanted to ask you, Chris. What do those flasks contain? Also, I can't I read. <laughs> chemicals! All sorts of different chemicals I need for my work. Indicator solutions, alcohol, things like that. What's ethanol? What exactly are <laughs> indicator solutions? Solutions for determining particular chemicals. The solution changes its color... If the substance you're looking for is present. What can get me fucked up? <laughs> Certainly not in order to drink it, Halligan. We use alcohols as solvents. I don't Most believe this. Anyway. But would homeless people know the difference? <laughs> You've got a great job, Chris. Masses of alcohol. He just said <laughs> poison nonsense, Halligan. Do you think we spend all day getting drunk with medical alcohol? Why don't you just try the stuff? What will happen to me then? You'll see. Well... <laughs> How about it? You might go blind! <laughs> sure, no problem. Oh my god, you can't just drink, like, chemical well, what's out- what's happening in the flask at the bottom well, right there? Maybe. Oh, um, yeah. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> this is my temper <laughs> with this nonsense. Why did we need this pan? Why is this pre-rendered? It means you're doing something right. Here, Brent, to your health. Uh... What's up? Go ahead, try it. You won't go on no one will miss you if you're dead. All right, here we go. Cheers. <sighs> to your health, Brent. An interesting aroma, isn't it? Brent. Aren't you Holy shit. Well? Uh, uh, is this a game over? You okay? <laughs> oh my god. I... It's a really shiny floor. <laughs> wow, it is actually. You can eat off that floor. And that is the mystery of the druids. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. You could knock someone out cold with this kind of stuff, Chris. If only Chris. someone had told me. <laughs> he just left him passed out on the floor? Ah. He went to go tell everyone else so they could all high five <laughs> each other. Or draw, like, a dick on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he's taking other stuff. All right. What? Huh? What? All right, now I've put pepper in everything. Look what we've got here. This is the bottle Chris took. Do we think Chris is a suspect? Yeah, why do we need his fingerprint? I don't... I... Oh, because we're too stupid to know which one he took, I guess. Really? So, apparently, <laughs> we needed to see which one he touched <laughs> recently. It's labeled! And it's not like, like ethanol is such like an now, out there well. chemical that you've never ethanol heard of it. Apple juice. This is so horrible! Well, the apple Just juice makes it okay. Fucking buy, like, some vodka! I hope he doesn't notice the fingerprint powder all over everything, but... Fine. You're gonna kill this guy! For well, 30 cents. He's gonna get his 30 pence, at least. 90%! That's not 100%. It's like Everclear, but it's, like it's also got apple juice. 10% like apple juice, at least. That doesn't even, like, mix well in a drink! <laughs> like, at least orange juice is, like, kind of a screwdriver, sort of. Hey, you wanna get really boy. fucked up? Apple snaps. <laughs> Detective Halligan's Home Distillery. I hope. Own brand. Would you like to have a taste? I don't don't do this. it. No. Right. no, don't trust him. I'm as dry as the bottom of a parrot's cage. Why don't you drink it all? What? What? Oh my god! A cracker, I can tell you. Cheers, <laughs> mister. Cheers. Don't just have a little bit of this probably unsafe thing I got for you. Why is his leg exclaiming? He comes back and he becomes bones. Just to make a fucking phone there call. Are a couple of pounds here in small change. Well, that was worth it. Oh, man. I'm sure he'll be fine. What a piece of shit game character. Like, Classic why did he just take it out of the dude's hat and be like, fuck you? Like, what's the <laughs> difference? Or he couldn't have gone to Scotland Yard and asked to borrow 30 cents. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> knock, knock. Is that how this works? Hello, who's that? Who am I speaking to? No, who are you? Halligan from Scotland. Oh boy, he's gonna need at least sixty more pence. What can I do for you? I need to speak to Professor Turner. Doesn't he work at the museum? Yes, but he's away on business. Are you good with bones? I really need to speak to him urgently. Professor Turner will not be available while he's on his expedition. I'm afraid you'll have to wait. Who in London can Where I talk to about skeletons? It's a long I've got a bone to pick with him? It, it looks like it. I'm sorry. Look, miss. What was your name? Goodbye, Mr. Halligan. Do you want some ethanol? He's hung up. And apple juice. <laughs> Slowly hang up. Well, that was worth poisoning someone for. Hmm? By the way, I think I killed the person outside your museum. <laughs> well, at least I talked to a lady. <laughs> Chris, you'll never <laughs> believe. Almost got her name. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> so if someone dies near the museum, it's uh, not a big deal. We shouldn't investigate it, all right? It's it's probably the murderer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he got lazy. Those druids time. strike again, right? Well, Brent, still got a headache. <laughs> Don't ask Chris. Also, you're an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I phoned him, but he wasn't in. Not in? He's on an expedition. I just talked to some woman who works there. Had to kill a guy just to do that. Yes, exactly. Well, Halligan, that was probably his daughter Melanie. She works in the museum as well. My friend told me a lot about her. He used to be really keen on her. All right, I'll go run back to the phone booth. <laughs> I think that'll help. He really is, too, now that he has her name. <laughs> and then he's gonna be like, Melanie, how did you know my name? Of course I'll help you with the bones. Mm -hmm. That's how these games tend to work. Mm -hmm. This one's especially, like, obtuse, though. Yeah. And a bit dark, as well. Mm-hmm. Well, usually they have the whole, like, all right, you give the wino the box of wine Are, or are whatever, his 30 pence but... still working? Well, he got, it's a couple of pounds in change, so. Oh, he got more than, okay. Yeah, he stole a bunch from the homeless guy. It wasn't just 30 cents. Hello? Hello, this is Halligan quick. again. Please don't hang up, Miss Turner. <laughs> How do you know my name, Mr. Halligan? Chris Hecker told me that Professor Turner's your father. Yes, I've been stalking you. What do you do at the museum? I'm an anthropologist. The same as your father? Yes. Miss Turner, do you think you could help me? Can women know How bones as well? Is that a I thing? A bone that I, I wasn't going to help land. you, but you did know my uh, name. Bone? Yes, of course. It belonged to a murder victim. Murder? How old? <laughs> the bone is from the body of one of the victims. Of the murder? That's murder. just terrible. I take it you've read about them? Oh, good heavens, yes. What can I do for you? Couldn't we discuss that inside? Certainly. Come on over. I'll let you in. Oh, nailed it. Sword. <laughs> Maybe I should check on the... Nah, it's fine. Nah, it's fine. Oh, there she is, I guess. Gets one look at Halligan and goes right back inside, shuts the door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust it. Uh, this guy is, doesn't look right. You're gonna have to learn my birthday before we talk more. Mr. Halligan? Yes, that's right. Hello, Miss Turner. Nice to meet you. Thank you for taking the time. No problem. He, look at the subtle the pelvic thrust anyway. he's doing. <laughs> he was. Refurbished. It's not easy to get in touch with you. Oh, there he goes. I was close to giving up. Oh, you only tried twice. Because of the phone call. I'm really sorry. I do sometimes tend to be rather short on the phone. You know, I get unpleasant calls sometimes. And Fascinating. That's why I'm a bit suspicious. Mm -hmm. I see. Well, I Can we talk about the murder now? Would you like to come in? Oh, you're the most unpleasant of all, Mr. Howard. <laughs> Oh my god, he's shadowing her. Would you like a cup of coffee or anything else? No, thanks. Oh boy, they're both slobs. How may I help you? As I said, I'm <laughs> I smell romance in the air. We found another victim in Epping Forest. All the evidence points to the same culprit. I keep thinking he says the Evan Forest. Skeletonized. <laughs> Those mother Evan Forest. Skeletonized. <laughs> Professional work? <laughs> this is a masterclass murderer we're dealing with. The of the forensic lab has already had a look at the bones. He thought that your father could perhaps carry out some additional tests. He is a renowned expert, after all. Yes, he could do that. But as I said, my father isn't here. I know, but it is very urgent. Perhaps you could have a look? Hmm. You say you've got some of the bones with you? Yes, just, just one, just for the, some reason. Just the cool one. I thought he bagged Take it, it with at your least. bare hands. <laughs> Just yes. threw it at her, I Chris think. Said as well. It will take some time, Mr. Halligan. Could you wait a moment? I would like to ask you some questions about your work. Just out of interest. 
What are all these strange things here in your lab? This is a lab. They're things my books brought back from various oh. expeditions. They have to be cataloged. Will then become part of the permanent exhibition of our museum. Is this true? Like, do people who actually curate the museums have to go out and get the stuff to populate yes, the museums? That's my job. What's your father's current research project? He's in Kenya studying initiation rituals. Initi. <laughs> Come on. Oh my God. Childhoods of boys and girls end, and they're admitted to the circle of adults. Never heard the term ritual before. How long have you been working here? Several years. My father. Could you keep it monosyllabic, please? <laughs> Connections are indispensable nowadays, aren't they? I was the most qualified applicant. <laughs> It's not easy to gain acceptance with the old boys of the museum's board when you're a woman. You have to be at least twice as good as the best male applicant. And you were. Of course I was. He said skeptically. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's terrible. As soon as my father retires. When will that be? In five years. Then you will have achieved a lot for someone your age. How old do you think I am? Um, Twelve? <laughs> we are speaking just like humans do. Exactly. Oh, good guess. I specialize in sacrificial rites. <laughs> what? That's an unusual research field. Well, really, for anyone. <laughs> it's really just my passion. Science fields for men or women, Mr. Halligan. No, I didn't mean it like. It took me forever to I find a college with that major. With death all the time, if you research sacrifices. Death is part of our existence, Mr. Halligan. Particularly sacrifice. <laughs> Speaking of, the guy out front, um... Take it like that, we are almost like colleagues. Maybe. But it's not my job to put people in jail. I just sacrificed them. <laughs> no, no, I just meant I killed the guy outside, actually. What is there to be understood about murder? I'm not saying that I... You're a detective! <laughs> Do your sacrificial rights research include poisoning people? Sacrificial rights are regarded as murder. Most cultures sacrifice animals or plants. And they do so for religious reasons. Human sacrifices don't exist anywhere in the world at present. They're a thing of the past. That was very interesting. Thank you, Miss Turner. Not at all. I like talking about it. I'm often alone <laughs> here with my work. It feels good to be able to chat. I mean, not with now you, but normally it does. Bone you brought. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry, that joke Just was right there. Just sit here and wait. <laughs> it is love, look! Forbidden archaeologies. Wait, are we playing as her now? Oh, I think I guess. Very mysterious. Yeah, I guess we are. Halligan, offline. The sickles from England. It could be a Celtic artifact, but we haven't been able to date it yet. Um, what about the bone? That's interesting. What is? The bone were made by a sharp instrument. <laughs> Mr. Halligan, I'm your murderer. Oh yeah, and I did kill that guy earlier. I really just needed this to jog my memory. I sacrificed him. Hmm. Oh, I ruined the evidence. Sorry. <laughs> Slice of the femur. It's wafer thin. You can almost see through it. I can't see it properly. Oh yeah, this is a microscope. <laughs> the excitement of mystery of the druids. It's gold. I think your friend was murdered with a golden sickle. With sacrificial rites in Britain. Wait, how would you know that as the player? You just have to click on all these random ass things? Sacrificial rites. The latest findings indicate that in ancient England it was probable for them. For their high ceremonies, the Celts usually preferred. Hmm, incredible. It all fits in with this bone. I'm sure the detective will be very interested. <laughs> He's already knocking back some ethanol he saved from the other guy. I like too the question mark exclamation point talk prompt uh -huh. like huh? I believe I found something interesting about your bone. <laughs> I haven't heard that in years. <laughs> yes, and probably with a sickle made of gold. What makes you think that? I don't know. There's notches matching the cutting form of a sickle to a T, and I found a trace of gold in one of the notches. A golden sickle. Who would use a weapon like that in order to cut a... The richest Grim Reaper in the That's world. Glitzed out death. As well. 
I found an interesting article which could help us. They call him the Bling Reaper. Arthur Blake. The Britannic Druids carried out very bloody Oh, is that from the magazine you were reading for 20 minutes? took place at major celebrations of the Celts. He assumes that consecrated golden sickles were used for those rites. And how does he know about these things? He learned about it from old inscriptions he's translating at the moment. Interesting, huh? Mm. Celts? Druids? Quite some time has passed since then, hasn't it? Of course, but the descriptions in the article absolutely match the findings... Didn't read the article yesterday about the white robed sure druids who burnt the themselves? Can help you. What do you think? Could this Blake be right? I don't know. Maybe he just wants to make money with horror stories about ancient Britain. Those are money makers. That's true. Match his theory quite well. Have you ever seen anything similar in your career? Oh, Mr. Halligan, you don't know the Aztec scar walls. If you'd oh, burn. You'd consider your bone harmless. Okay. Maybe, but that was centuries ago. The victim of this murder was found this morning. I mean, the writers must have known the phrasing was kind of off on this. Do you think this murder could be a ritual murder? Yes, it would be possible. There are several occult sects and Satanists. I'm a member of they several are dozen. Their history books and adopting archaic rituals. I'm Did going there now. The oh. Blake, Arthur Blake. Was there any mention in the article of how you could get in touch with the man? He does leave his phone number at the end of every article. His address was printed below the article. <laughs> Once you're done reading my article, please come visit me. I'm going there now. Mr. Halligan, I'm interested in this, particularly... Oh, get the fuck I'm out of here. I'd like to help you with your case. Would you take me with you? Impossible. No! <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, thank you. I have to see him on my own. I'm sorry. I'm sure my knowledge would be to your advantage, Mr. Halligan. And I think it would be really interesting to work on a case like that. Mm. For the museum. Oh, well, when I think about it... <laughs> it's all it took! <laughs> perhaps there will be more examinations to be... I don't think there's any okay, protocol to worry about or anything, sure. I'll keep you informed on the case. If I hear anything new or if I need your help, I'll contact you. What do you think? Right. Very slick way to get her number, Halligan. Yeah. I can give you my spare coat. And thank you, Miss Turner. All right. Well, that <laughs> that was off and away. Beep beep. <laughs> and and Algin was never seen again.